So what I want to do real quick, I want to answer the kind of the, the my dad's taking a lot right now from from, from the post fight mm-hmm. uh, interview in the ring. Yep. I want to answer that right quick. And then I want to go to any Q&A that we got right okay. there uh, on the screen. So here's the thing. And I want to make this clear that I'm not defending my dad. I'm not justifying my dad. Here's the thing is, I know my dad and I understand my dad. People out there, you, 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 a lot of y'all don't know my dad and you know him, you know him based on what you've seen, but you haven't, you don't know him based on experience. Y'all in the room, y'all know him. So as I get through this, y'all will be like, all right, KP, (laughs) my dad says, I don't want to, I don't want to. I can't verbatim say what he said, but he, he lack of preparedness. He 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 alluded to me not being not preparing for Terrence Crawford the way that I should have. This is the first time in my entire life that my dad told me to do something. I said, "I'm not doing that." <laughs> Proud of you, Mike. It's not it. So that's the first time that that's ever happened in in the career of us fighting boxing. Father and son, the whole nine, ever, like literally ever. And once it started to happen, my dad was like, "Mm -mm. this ain't going to go the way you want it to go. And he said that to me a couple of times during training. And my thought process was like, this is not the right time. We should we need to have a conversation after it's done. But we never had those conversations. And you will hear my dad say, I knew that this was going to happen tonight. I knew I was going to have to throw in the towel. My dad has never had me say no. And so when that started to happen in camp, because of my personal decisions, I felt like, you know what? I'm going to need everything I got going to the ring. And today you want me to do X, Y, Z. I'm not feeling it. And so camp went the way that it went. Wasn't a terrible camp. Wasn't even a bad camp. And my personal opinion was a a very good camp. Not a great camp, but a very good camp. But in my dad's mind, we left things at the gym. And that's something we've never done before. So we go to the ring. The fight's happening the way that it happens. My dad sees me get hit clean. I don't get hit clean too often. And once I go down, both of us are experiencing something for the first time. Yes, you've seen my hand touch. You, yes, you've seen me get days before, but you've never seen me actually go down. I go down, and now it's a situation where we both have to maintain our composure. We both have to understand what's going on in the moment, and we both have to make it through this moment together. We get back. I, I get up, look at my dad, let him know I'm good. I do not remember what my dad said to me. I, I believe my dad was, he said, get your hands up. <laughs> he did say that, and I, I think he was saying Use better defense. We get back going. Da 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 da. I go down again. When I after the first time I went down, I, I had already lost my cool. It was a little bit of embarrassment. It was a little bit of damn. Why are you getting hit clean like this? What are you doing? And then the second time I go down, I completely lost it. I'm on the I'm on the canvas, banging my fist on the canvas because again, embarrassment. Again, I, I'm not used to that, and I just was like, what are you doing? I was mad at myself. I wasn't mad at my dad. I wasn't mad at Terrence. I was completely mad at myself. And my dad, the second time I went down, I believe my dad was thinking, this is what we train for. I take you through the fire so that when this happens, you don't do what you just did. You don't bang your, your fist on the canvas. You don't have, you don't have something, an out of body experience where everybody can see everything that you feel and everything that you think. I take you through the fire for a reason. And even though my dad was taking me through the fire of this camp, my dad knew or felt like he didn't, we, I didn't go through the fire the way he wanted me to. Now, here's what people need to understand. This is where all you need to understand. If you have someone that you've known your entire life and you know how to get that person from A through Z, and this is how you do it, when that person reverts, diverts, goes off the path, whatever the case may be, Two things happen. Number one, you feel responsible. And number two, you feel like it's not enough. 
And so a lot like the conversation that we had the other day, I said, you know, Barry Sanders, Barry Sanders dad will look him in the eyes right now and tell him he's not the best running back ever of all time. I said, me along with a lot of other people in America will tell Barry Sanders that he's the best running back in the world. But the father has such high expectations. The father has this understanding of who his son is. My dad has an understanding of who I am that he could not let go of the fact that, number one, I'm responsible for getting you in and out of this ring safely and in and out of this ring the way that you're supposed to. You didn't allow me to do that. And because you didn't allow me to do that, this is what's happening and I'm going to stop it. So do I disagree with the stoppage? I was surprised. But at the like my dad said, at the end of the day, he came over yesterday. He came over earlier today. He came over twice today. My dad lives right down the street from me. It's an it's a easy situation for my dad to say, I'm not going to let my son get hurt. I'm not going to allow my no, son to do Daddy. this. What? Yes. I'm talking about Poppy. Speaking of sons. What's up, ma'am? <laughs> well, tell mommy. What's the book? Everywhere I go. And, I saw. and that's, that's simply the case. My dad has never seen me take those punches that clean. And he's never seen me go down the way that I went down. And he's like, that's it. Yeah, I, I agree with I agreed with the stoppage. I had no issue with it. Very much disagreed and, and was feeling some type of way about the comment, but I think should have kept it behind the scenes, wasn't necessary, kind of threw you under the bus and kind of himself. And in again, a way, well, you know everybody expects it, like I've said this before, everybody expects us to be superheroes and they they always expect us to be flawless. That's a situation that we've never dealt with before. Yeah. And my dad, we're we're all emotional. Yeah. We we my dad and I have not cried, but he comes to my room, the hotel room, after the, everything's done, and he's telling me, he said, "Man, everybody's saying this, saying that." I looked and I said, "Dad, thank you." And and I, I need everybody to hear this too. I said, "I'm not telling you thank you for last night or for tonight. I'm not telling you for thank you for stopping the fight. I'm telling you thank you because look where we're at right now. Yeah, we just did Mandalay Bay." We're, we're on the 61st floor in the Mandalay Bay. I in know the they had 64 floors in that. I can look out and see airplanes landing. Amazing. My dad and I never had a conversation about that. About that. We never had a conversation about being world champions. We never had a conversation about how much money we were going to make. I said, Dad, I want to be a professional boxer. He says, if you want to be a professional boxer, then you're going to have to let me manage your career because there's going to be a lot of people who are going to try to take advantage of you, and I can't allow that. And so I said, Dad, I I just want to thank you because who would have thought? And my dad said, not me. I said, me neither. I said, look where we at right now, Dad. I said, don't let any of that affect you. Don't let any of that bother you. Stop reading it. Stop looking at it yeah. because it doesn't matter. The fact that I can stand here right now and thank you, not just for tonight, but thank you for getting me here. Thank you for, for, for doing everything that it needed to bring me to this moment, for us to even have this moment, a moment that so many fighters that I grew up with wanted to have, yeah. and I just was doing it. Yeah. I was just boxing. Wait, waiting on August so that I could play football yeah. and then boxing again because I was good at it and I'm an athlete. I said, Dad, thank you. You know what I mean? So that's how we left Saturday night. And I just need everybody out there to understand that you may not have agreed with what my dad said. I agree. Yeah. It should stay behind. It yeah. should stay da 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 But at the same time, if you understood my dad, if you knew my dad, you, you, you'd be like, Kenny just being Kenny. <laughs> what you, the way you explained it at the press conference was perfect. And that's mm-hmm. how I felt was, hey, we, we got a lot more to do in this world. Still father and son. That I'm all for that. Completely agree. But yeah, the comment was just unnecessary. Yeah, but yeah, stoppage a, was, was what it needed. Yeah, I definitely didn't, didn't agree with the gonna comments. Come, and you weren't going to come back and win that fight. No. Sorry, uh, sorry uh, buddy. Uh, 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 no, happen. I thought you said I wasn't going to yeah. come back and talk. And I definitely didn't agree uh-huh. with final statements. I didn't get, agree with the, the stoppage. I don't know. I've been asking myself that. If you would have come back to win, that? I don't know. That's a that's a that's, that's a, a big one. Yeah, that's and a we and we round and we know and we know his, he has a reputation. 10, seven round. We, he has a reputation, but that was why I wanted to fight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't. Again, I don't disagree with my dad. I yeah. was surprised. I didn't know what was gonna happen, but you know, I'm not saying I'm not saying, Dad, you should have given. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I don't look at it like that. Yeah. But I do wonder, like, you know, what would have happened? My dad. 
Again, you're looking at the numbers, you're looking at what this dude has done. And my dad's like, oh, no, yeah. we're not going yeah, through you're that. Looking the, you're looking at this. We're not going at through the that. Score at that point. Yeah. The situation. Yeah. Perfectly agree. Yeah. yeah. Good time to and stop I, it. No, no I'm not about this fucking dad. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but at the end of the day, I felt like at the end of the day, y'all came up together, Sean. Without, without, Ken, without Kenny, there's no Sean Porter. Without Sean Porter, there's no Kenny Porter. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day. Mm-hmm. F what don't don't f the world. Who yeah. cares how you look to the world? Yeah. At the end of the day, that's still your son. When all let's say all this falls, you have nothing. Yeah. That's still your dad. That's, wood, he's still yeah. your son. My dad was here. At, my dad was here Sunday saying that. Yeah, yeah I'm saying that. Don't it, just, but don't say face for the world. Okay. I At the end of the day. Yeah. Y'all both lost. Yeah. Y'all went down together. Yeah. Even if you didn't train, you've been training this man for 34 years. Yeah. Y'all lost this together. Yeah. Y'all are foundation. Y'all are one. Yeah. I just, that, I didn't like that. You know, I love you to death. And mm-hmm. I didn't like that at all. But at the end of the day, y'all still father and son. Yeah. Y'all got another 40, 50 years to live together. Y'all still, when everybody's gone, it's still you and your dad. Yep. Yep, so that's yep. the thing that, that and, I say at the end I of the day. And I still value him a lot as a trainer. I think he's got the Montgomery, he's got Henry, yeah. he's got the whole crew. Yeah. So I don't think this is the end of his road either. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG. Ant with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's All do right. it again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell him, and then you tell him what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter way.